So today we're going to change the keyboard on the Dell Studio XPS. Okay. And so I took out the key, uh, the battery. Flip it over. And what we're going to do is we're going to take out the screws on the bottom plate. Okay. And then we'll go from there so you can pause it. So we took the base cover out. So now the next step is to take these caps off. So what I do is I slide it and pulls right off. And the same thing with this one. So I slide, push it this way, and it should just come right out. Okay. And now what we got to do is take out the base screws here, 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 okay? You can see them all around. There's about probably 10 or 15 of them. So I'm going to start taking the screws out and then I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done. Okay, okay. So I'm taking out the screws. Okay, and it says P for palm rest. Okay, uh, this one too. And this one. Okay, so I took out the 14 screws that were at the bottom of the palm rest. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over, which is what I did, and I'm going to take out, there's two screws here that's holding it down, one there and one here. So I took this one out, and I'm just going to remove this one and place it here. So now it's just a matter of sliding this one out. Okay, so I took the two screws out from here and there, and I popped it up. Of course, you go like this, and here is the cable. So you gotta pop up the little lever right here, so you can release the cable for it. And don't forget about the motherboard cable that also have to be disconnected. And so that's it. And now we get into the process of removing this keyboard out and putting in the other keyboard. Okay, so right now we have to take out the MX23 screws. This one, and this one, this one, this one, this, 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 this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw. And this is also the keyboard light cable, which is right here. That also has to be taken out. And we did that too. Okay. And that's it. So right now I'll start uh, unscrewing. And I'll show it to you when I'm done. Only one. Okay. So I took the screws out. And here is the old keyboard. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it out and place the other one in its place. Okay. So first I connected the RCA cable right here. Okay. And next is I'm going to start screwing the base down again. Okay, and usually I don't tighten all the screws until the screw until all the screws are in. Okay, so just a little bit. Okay, so I've tightened all the screws. Okay, all the screws. I've connected the RCA cable, and the only thing left is for me to do is connect the keyboard cable. 
and that's what we're going to do next. Bring it to here. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the motherboard cable, which is right there, and the keyboard cable, which will go right there. Okay. So I'll do that and then I'll show you the rest. I've uh, put the cover back on and I connected it back again. Okay. So here's the new keyboard and I've connected it back again. So the next step is to put all the screws back and secure the palm rest. You can pop. Alright. So that's everything. Okay, so now we slide in, we do the reverse, okay, slide it in, and then we put, snap it back in, okay, and the same thing on this side here, okay, so now we put in the other bottom plate, and we slide it in, that's it, so now the only thing left for us to do is to put in the plate cover right over. That's it.